prepared to go on our trip because we said that we want to go on the 20th of July. Or no, yeah, 20th of July. And that's what it is. Well, that's what day it is right now. Right? So we wanted to stick to our deadline and make sure that we were going. So um, and that's why I've gone a bit quiet and not had so many frequent uploads and stuff. But we are going to do a van tour later on when we get to Wicklow or maybe on the way or something. But uh, yeah, it was just a quick wee update and uh, there's recent keeping, but we'll do a proper tour once we get to Wicklow. And uh, I'm just going to continue editing this now. And we've just been taking some photographs of the surroundings. And now you're about to get a van tour. <laughs> so here we have all of our storage, which is just basically our clothes and stuff. Um, so Nathan's is top shelf and mine is this one. And then down here, more clothes are in this one. This one lifts up. And then we've got the shoes down here and walking boots and stuff. Then if we come along a little bit, we put these little bits of rope on to stop the doors opening while we're moving. So to get those off, you just untwist. And then in there we have our food storage. So some cereal and obviously coffee for Nathan and green tea for me. And um, up here we have our surfboards, so this one's mine and here we have Nathan's. This is our sink and uh, we kept the offcut of the sink so we could use that as like a extra bit of counter space um, and we just finished it off with a bit of rope around the edge which looks pretty nice and um, apparently it's a rubbish bin for now as well. We need to get, uh, we need to find a rubbish bin. So uh, in the last video I was talking about the sink, um, but it's just a really simple gravity fed system. So the water goes in up here and then into a tank, which is permanently fixed here with a pipe plunged in into the tank. And then it comes out the pipe and then through here and down. I don't want to use up all our water there. And then it goes into uh, our wastewater system here, so it goes through a U-bend and then down into that. So we need to take that out and empty it whenever it gets full. So that's 5 litre there and 20 litres of storage. So we obviously have to empty it more often than we fill it. Um, and then we've got other bits of bits and pieces that we need for our kitchen. Um, dustpan, tea towels and stuff in there. And then um, other bits for my kitchen is chopping board, cutlery, plates, spoons, all that sort of stuff in there. And then we've also got our fridge in here. So I was talking about um, the fridge in the last video as well, and we weren't sure what we were going to go for. Uh, we talked about it. Uh, uh, the 12 volt cool box and that sort of thing but then we were kind of looking more towards a fridge but for this space that we have um, this was the best fit that we could find and it was a good price as well so we just decided to go for it 
but it's full to the brim right now. Don't think we need to show inside it. <laughs> it's absolutely full. It's so heavy. So Shout out to Denise Cranston for the two bottles of wine. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty much our kitchen. We've also got some extra bits and pieces. Extra water, water tank for more storage. Um, some uh, vegetables and stuff in there as well. So that's more sort of like dry food storage. And um, a wee bit more storage up here for our uh, bed sheets and stuff and then um, our skateboards of course mounted over here so if you want to use them we just undo the rope and we're good to go um, do you want to talk about your lovely curtains <laughs> okay uh, so here we have one of the curtains that we made and it just slides across like this and this is a uh, coffee sack that we were given um, and it had a lining inside it so we just took the lining out and cut it so initially it was this length and then so we cut some off the side and then just stitched that on to make it the full length and then we put on a curtain backing on it just to keep the light out so that works pretty well as a curtain for night time and then down here we have also some coffee sacks that we were donated and again we just took the lining out of them and put our own edges on and then just uh, stapled those up there and there's some more in here too so there's one and then that's just hiding what's under the bed which is a gas stove um we have some seats in there and a barbecue and what else is in there nathan is that um, it? that's pretty much it uh, is that our banter over um Oh, we didn't show the fan working. Oh yeah, we've got a fan. Also, we, show, we showed that in the last video, but yeah, we'll show it quickly here. So, we just turn it on. And it blows in the air. And we learned the hard way that you can't flick it on and off very quickly. <laughs> otherwise the fan <laughs> falls off. Yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, we were talking about this um, control panel in the last video. So we've got um, our light switch mounted um, up here. We've got our inverter switch mounted up here and we've got a couple of USB sockets, 12 volt socket and our battery voltage reading so and a little charging self for our phones whenever we have them plugged in and um, so that's really handy to have as well. I think that's pretty much it. Um, so oh what about the electrics? Um, we talked about that in the last video but I'll show it. Oh. We talked about that quickly, or in the last video, but I'll just show it quickly now. So, um, you cannot really see it all here. Okay, you can't see it without moving all the seats. Um, we talked about the electrics in the last video, but um, we basically got um, an ultimate smart charger running from the starter battery charging our leisure battery and that then goes to an inverter which and then goes to a 12 volt fuse box for the lights and the fan and stuff and then we've got 240 coming off the inverter so i'll not show all that right now but if i don't know if anyone would want to see that if you want to see it comment and i can make a video about that um another time but that's it for now. So thanks to Claire's dad for helping us with <laughs> the electrics. And yeah. thanks to my mom for helping us with our seat cushions. And thanks to Simon for the coffee sacks. And I think that's everyone. Who else contributed? Thanks to everyone else who gave us little bits <coughs> and pieces for yep. inside the van, like little um, uh, glasses and stuff. And do you want to end it? Um, ah! no, <laughs> that's it for now. Peace out, keep it true, and keep it real. Bye.